할렐루야 할렐루야 I'm gonna listen my friends That's his day we are smile I wanna uh, I wanna give you the the scripture we should we should keep this word it's God's word not not my word repentance and the forgiveness forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name all nation beginning at the Jerusalem Today's text. I say again, repentance and the forgiveness will be preached to all the nation. The Jesus Christ command before he ascend to the heaven. He told the disciples, yeah, you should keep and preach this gospel, which is Christ message, God's love, hmm? forgiveness and repentance should go to all the nations. Luke 24, 47. Oh, oh my Lord. Yeah. It, it, it. Repentance, yes. We should uh, repent. I'm repenting. What I've done. Today, yesterday. Just before I've done. Holy Spirit convict me. And stir my heart. Speed of load. Touch me. I should be repented. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm honestly speaking to you. Before I'm preaching two days of sermon, face and repentance. Face and repentance. Oh, yes, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. You, you taught me by your spirit, the Holy Spirit. Touch me and convict my consciousness. I should be repented. Jesus Christ, I am I, I will confess with my face. You are the only way. Only way through whom can be saved. Only Jesus Christ, we can be saved. No other way. Bible say, Acts 4, chapter 12, there is no other name, no other name, we must be saved, except Jesus Christ, his name, precious name, we believe, I believe, you believe, only way. We can go to before the Lord through the Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We are not saved by the, our effort, good works, and the family background, uh, uh, you know, uh, social status, uh, 
uh, and the social position and, uh, and only the faith we have. Jesus Christ gave us that we accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Jesus Christ in our heart will read us to salvation. After we believe in Jesus, we will be overwhelmed. We will be overcome by the power of God. We got the victory. We will be prevailed by the grace of God. And then we sh should repent. Hmm? I'm telling you. Repent is, is going to make it clean to your heart in presence of the Lord. So we can make a conversation to the Lord by the prayer every day. In moment, we should pray after we, re we through the Repentance of prayer, we can talk to our Father in heaven, and God will be pleased and He's going to reveal what He going to do, and He's gonna give you the plan you have to do. Oh, yeah, God has a plan for you. Hmm? Oh, my Lord. You know, because of our sins, uh, which were not seen before, we didn't know sin before. We believed in Jesus Christ. But after we believed in, in Jesus Christ, we Feel the sins, sins, our enemy. Oh. We, are, we are feeling in our heart. Hmm? How do we know? My heart is not something in here, it's not clear in my heart. Holy Spirit reveals and enlightening for your sin that it's going to disturb and make depress in your mind that it seems we should we should take out the sins by the Holy Spirit because my God Jesus Jesus I believe that I know the sins before I believe Jesus Christ I didn't know hmm? Most people repent of their sins when they first believe in Jesus Christ. I remember. Because they come to realize how much they have sinned before God. Before believing in Jesus, we did not feel guilty. Even when we sinned, we didn't know that. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Because our heart was hallowed, our heart was numbed. 
Because we didn't know evil and good, good and evil. We didn't know. But now we know the truth. Jesus is Christ is the truth. They make me free from the, all the sins. Hallelujah. Gospel John 8, chapter 32. Truth shall make you free. However, uh, keep, keep listening. When Jesus comes into our heart, he rests told our conscience conscience and purifies our spirit purifies cleans our spirit oh hallelujah i love this spirit i want to enjoy this spirit i'm going to enjoy with this spirit in every day hmm? oh i know you are doing Enjoying with the Spirit of God. Hmm? Oh, hallelujah. Purifies our spirit. Clean our spirit. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that, so that we will see our sins and repent of them. Hmm? One thing we should know that we have to remember is that the only requirement for celebration is our faith in Jesus. That's it. We need our faith to be saved. When we believe in our heart and when we confess it, our mouth, we are saved. And the Bible says, uh, uh, Romans 10, chapter 10 through 9 through the 10. If you confess your mouth, your, mouth, your lips, Jesus is the Lord, and believe in your heart that He Raised Jesus Christ from the death, you will be saved. It is with your heart justified. Justified. It is your mouth to confess. You are saved. I will say, yes. Holy Spirit will help us. Yes, He's going to help you. Hmm? Jesus Christ said, Holy Spirit, another counselor. I will send another counselor to help you in your life, doing in, in this world. Another counselor. God had promised to send to you. Hallelujah. First huh? Corinthians 12, chapter 3. You know, without the Holy Spirit, no one can say Jesus is Lord. No one. Except, except by the Holy Spirit. No one can say Jesus is the Lord besides the Holy Spirit. Hmm? Oh my. How wonderful. <sighs> Your God, my God. How wonderful. God's grace is Oh, my Lord, hi. Thank you, Lord. Huh? 
할렐루야. 아이, 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 아, I wanna tell you the Korea, my country, of uh, the great revival event that was uh, happened. Uh, in 1903 in Wonsan, North Korea. Now this area is located in North Korea. I, 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 I'm not leaving North Korea. <laughs> I'm leaving South Korea. I was leaving South Korea. Great revival in Wonsan in 1903 was the foundation of the great revival in Pyongyang in 1907. Reverend Hardy, who was a Methodist medical missionary in Kangwon province, is located in the South Korea now. He, he could not bear much fruit, even he tried to, in doing in ministry, he could not much fruit, because he was too arrogant and proud. So one day, and one day, you know, he was attending a prayer conference for missionaries at Wonsan. He, it is, it is by the Korean people. That's why Korean people came to him. The Korean people did not come to him, his church. Hardy, this missionary was convicted of his sin when he had attended the prayer conference. And he repented. It brought a great revival in Wonsan. He was working at that time. The great revival broke out in Chang Dehyun Church in 1907. Meanwhile, about 1,500 people gathered and uh, had the Bible service for 10 days. Listen, my friends. One man who held us, Son Ju Gil, the leading elder of the church stood up and confessed his sins in front of the whole church. Elder Kiel rose up from his seat all of a sudden and he confessed and he started statement to the, the church during the revival meeting. He said, I am a sinner like Akon, who was uh, took out the stop of the it planned that 
you know, uh, the, the Joshua. Joshua was going to fight against in, in, in the Canaan enemy. The eye. I shall have the eye. After Joshua defeated in the, the Jerigo, this man, this, this, this Akan, they hid some stuff as a, a plunder. God was angry. So, what happened? Why our people were destroyed by the enemy? Later, Joshua found the Agan who hid this stuff of the plunder. So, he was stoned by the people. You know, you can read Joshua chapter 7. All right. So I go back to your testimony. I am a sinner like Egan. Elder Ki Jill confessed that one of his friends had died and asked Gil to take care of his possession property. And take care of his family and wife. However, Elder Chir Kiel took 101 from the, his friend's property. At that time, that money was a large amount of the money. Kiel depended with the Tears. I am. I would sin. I am a sinner like Akan. I am a thief. I deceived God and my friend and his wife. I will give money back to his wife tomorrow morning. It is because of me, because of me, that the whole congregation has not received God's grace because of me, because I had sinned. Then listen. That is what happened after he confessed his sin. Whole church began to repent of their sins with healing the church flow. A great wave of repentance swept over the whole church. Even though they were Christian, the Holy Spirit Peter had yet to seize people. When they were seized by the Spirit, he revealed their sin to them. They could come to repentance. They continued to pray into the night, repenting and wailing. Whole day, their prayer did not stop even after midnight. Oh my, listen. They went to home but could not sleep because they were strongly touched by the Holy Spirit. 
They came to church to pray. Since they were so, you know, inspired, excited by the spirit of the God. What I'm telling you, oh, listen, here's a, the point I'm going to tell you, this, the, the, this testimony of the son to kill. This is the, how the only meeting prayer started in Korea by the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes. This is the origin of prayer meeting in Korean church. In break time, the daybreak. You know, most, almost most Korean church is doing and praying in the day of break every day. That God, God pour out the blessing in the Korean church. I believe. People closing this sermon, I want to tell you. I believe now, you know, we call the Pyongyang, Pyongyang in the, the Jerusalem of the Orient. Because, as you've heard, Zhang Deyeon Church, which had been blamed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. God poured out this church because, because the, the elder son, kill son, Jew, mm. he repented. He, he had repented. God had prayed, blessed this Changdeon church in Pyongyang, and all all the you know the fire of the Holy Spirit it spread out and across the Pyongyang and across the Korea at that time. I believe this time now North Korea is an evil empire. The, it, 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 this country this country should be wiped out, wiped out in maps in this earth. You know that. It is uh, every day you see headline of the news, the North Korea and in, in the nuclear problem, big problem. We see every day. This evil country, I believe, God going to unify, unify this our country. South and North go, going to unite it by God's way. I don't know. I don't know which way God going to use and making unify our country, I don't know yet. But I believe it's a time we will worship to the Lord in Pyongyang. I hope, personally, I hope. One day I will worship to the, our God in Pyongyang. Pyongyang, where Zhangdian Church has been revived by the Holy Spirit. It's going to same Holy Spirit touch in South Korea Church. If we pray for unity of our country, I believe. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because we, we repent. I am repenting. Yeah. Only, let me tell you, 
only one person. The elder kill. He repented. Pyongyang. Fire of the Holy Spirit spread out all area. Only one person repented. Only one person. It could be you. It could be me. If I repent, God going to blessing and the miracle is about to happen. In your church, in your community, in your family. Yes, I believe. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. God will see the, your face. You are repenting. And forgiveness. Oh, thank you. Lord, pray the giving glory. Bye-bye. Thank you. It's time. Bye-bye. Hallelujah.